everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a fabric haul because I've got quite a lot this month. Last month I didn't buy any fabric really for myself because um, I was so busy but this month I've got quite a large haul um, so I'm going to show that to you now. So you're going to have to bear with the lighting a bit because I've got the halogen heater on and it's turning to try and heat up the room because I'm so so cold. Um, so I'm sorry if like now it goes like really really bright. Maybe I should just face it away for now. I don't know. Okay, so everything you're going to see in this video I actually got from one place which is my go-to Minerva Crafts. Um, so Minerva Crafts I also write posts for for the Blogger Network and I've got a few things that will be coming up on the Blogger Network um, so you get like a sneak peek of what I'm sort of thinking and I bought some extra things um, for things that I want to make personally as extras not just for blog posts um, because I really like them so I'm going to show you patterns first. Okay so the first pattern is the Kilo Wrap Dress by Named Clothing. Now I've been wanting this for a really long time um, and there was sort of like an influx of sewing bloggers making them all at the same time so I didn't want to make one then because I just thought like I'm just jumping on the bandwagon so I'm going to jump on the bandwagon later. So um, I've got some fabric for this, I'm not going to tell you which one it is um, but I'm thinking of something more subtle and everyday um, that I can dress up or down um, but I just really like it so it's basically I'll show you close up um, a wrap around dress um, so it's like a funny shape like an apron shape almost so it goes out at the sides um, and you could there's many many ways you can wear it um, it's got a nice split at the back so in the picture they've made like a sheer version um, that you can put over another dress um, but I'm just going to make it all in one nice fabric. Um, so you can wrap it at the front, wrap it at the back, do different things with it. Um, so I'm really excited about making this. I've been looking forward to making this for a long time. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the next pattern is a sewing vlogger staple. It's the toaster sweater um, from Sew House 7. Um, you may have seen this a lot. Everyone seems to have made one. Um, again, a bit late to the scene, but I really wanted to make it. I really want like a like a nice round turtleneck jumper and I thought this one would be perfect. The only thing I think I might change is the length of it because I've noticed that the toaster sweater is quite short um, so I might make it a bit longer. Um, and I just like, I like both versions really but I think I'm going to make the turtleneck version first, I'm not sure, or maybe combine them, I'm not sure. Okay, so fabrics. Again, like I said, they're all from minervacrafts.com. Um, make sure you go and check their website out, actually, because it's really, really good. They're not paying me for this or anything, so this is just my personal opinion. I love that website. I get most of my things from there, and they normally have exactly what I want. So check it out. So the first thing I got is this. It's a nice wine-coloured or burgundy um, cotton jersey. Now, this isn't actually for me. My best friend who's pregnant um, wanted, we still don't know um, whether the baby's a boy or a girl, but um, she wanted some like wintry, because it's a winter baby. We thought that we'd, well, we thought she would like some winter coloured sort of baby clothes. Um, and all I've made so far is like really neutral, really bright. Um, so she thought it'd be nice if she had some like darker colours. So I've ordered some navy jersey um, from a different company that's coming um, but I saw this wine coloured plain one um, from Minerva and it's so soft so I'm really really glad I got this so when I get time I'm gonna make some more baby clothes. Okay so the next thing is some coat fabric so it's like a heavy wool blend um, I can't remember what it's called, um, but it was on the site. I can link it below um, to make it easier. Um, it's a wool blend coating fabric because I want to make another Sapporo coat. I have lived in it since I made it. The only thing is, because of the texture of it and the pale colour, everyone teases me and says it looks like a dressing gown. Now, I still wear it because I still love that coat. But I thought a nice, smart black one would go down very, very well over the winter. And I just thought it's something that I could wear out and it looks a bit dressier. So I'm going to make another one with this nice black plain fabric. And for the lining, I brought this. Now this is actually in the sale on the site, so I'm not sure if there's any left. If, if there is any left, I will link it below. Um, I just saw this and I thought, oh, 
that would be amazing that would be so much fun so I got this for the lining just for a bit of like jazziness on the inside I went like that like a flasher but you know what I mean you'll probably notice from this video that there's a theme to the colors more black this is not like me like lately I've been buying so much pinks like dusky pinks and now all I'm doing is buying dark fabrics but you know maybe it's the the boiler breaking and the builders and the winter maybe I'm just thinking of dark colors <laughs> but this is a really really soft um, quite drapey um, black jersey um, I think this is a viscose blend um, I really like this um, it's for something that I'm making for the blogger network it's just really drapey and flowy and I thought it would be a really good staple for my wardrobe because I don't actually own that much like dark plain black sort of um, smartish clothes because generally as you've seen from previous videos I go for sort of like really bright bold colours and patterns and stuff like that so I bought this to sort of like bring some variation into my wardrobe so more jersey this one is a weightier sort of navy jersey um, and as you can see it's got a bit more detail to it it's sort of like a mottled sort of patterny colour is it gonna focus um, and I bought this for another item on the Vlogger Network to make. Um, I just thought, again, something like more um, muted tones, less bright, a bit more wintry and comfy. Um, I will give you a little hint to this. I'm actually going to do a hack um, for this post. And basically, with making clothes for my friend for her baby, I have decided that baby clothes look far too comfy to not be shared amongst adults so I'm thinking that I can blend a baby type pattern with an adulty pattern to make it like a super comfy cozy outfit because I mean why do babies get to wear the cool stuff I want to I want to wear like onesies <laughs> so I got this because I liked it okay so the next thing you can probably guess what it's going to be for it's this cosy knitted um, sort of like it looks a bit mohairy but I'm pretty sure that I didn't pay enough for it to be mohairy um, again I'll try and link it below if there's any left it's like a lovely navy colour it's so soft and cosy again I'm thinking about winter it's in a muted like navy blue um, all my fabrics are really dark but you know it's that time of year where I just want some really nice cosy things to wear and with parties and stuff coming up you want to look smart and wintry but you also want to be warm so that's why I got this because I thought it was nice okay so that's it for today I'm sorry that it's a bit of a rushed video but I've got so many orders to do it's that time of year um also it's my best friend's baby shower tomorrow so I've been doing lots of that and I need to finish up a few things so basically I've got a busy day and it's already mid-morning and I haven't got much work done and I'm sorry if there's noise in the background of this video the builders are outside working very very hard um so yeah I'm sorry sorry for a short quick video I hope you like the patterns and the fabric oh and don't forget to like and subscribe because it does really mean a lot to me and also thank you for all the love on my previous video with the sew along for the cocoon dress um I will definitely do another sew along soon I promise you just want to have a bit more time and I'm a bit calmer um I will definitely do another one because you all seem to love it and I really really appreciate the love that you gave me on that on that video so thank you so much and I will see you again next week for another video happy handmade everyone